Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Martini Cross Nation. Today we're going over the Vexen Plus medal that came out for the uh, Organization 13 event this month. So just like always, I have the medal analysis article already up on my website at khuxnation.com. Uh, it's right here on the opening page, the home page and whatnot. But if you happen to be watching this video from a later point in time, you can always click on the medal analysis tab in the top right hand corner of the website. Uh, go to all medals, tier 8, and it'll be right there for you. All right, so Vexen Plus is a power reverse medal. Tier 8 AoE has a total max multiplier of a 9.5 to 12.94, uses two gauges, and this is what he does. For two turns, he raises the reverse strength and general defense by one tier, speed and magic defense by three tiers, lowers the target's strength by two tiers, and inflicts more damage the more turns have passed, and HP recovery level two. So the first thing I want to say about this medal is that when I first saw this medal, uh, I was I, I I was pretty hyped, and and I had to think about it for a second because realistically, this medal is practically like a a a very interesting combination of HT Zexion, HPO, and Chicken Little. Okay, because as of right now, um, when it comes to turtle strategies, there's there's only there's pretty much two main things you need to do. Okay. Or three main things, I guess you could say, if you want to do it like that. The first is you need general defense uh, buffs. Okay, above all, like before attribute buffs, you typically want to have that general defense buffs first. And then there's the attribute buffs. And then uh, as well as you need the strength debuffs as well. The strength debuffs are just as important uh, as the general defense buffs. Okay, they're kind of like the same thing, just towards a different person. The whole point of, a, of like defense buffs is to reduce damage taken to you and the whole point of a strength debuff on the opponent is to reduce the damage taken to you <laughs> so uh being able to do both of them uh just like exponentially re uh reduces the amount of damage that you can take so typically the meat and potatoes uh setup or like metals that you would use together for turtle strategies now these days in the past before vex and plus would be the hd zexian and the chicken little combo okay because of the fact that chicken little can debuff by two tiers which is significant and then you would top that off with ht zexian who also debuffs strength by one tier so you get a total of three but he also buffs your attribute defense by two tiers and it does last for two turns as effects which is great for turtle strategies because the fact that the whole point is there you want to last for multiple turns so realistically with one copy of chicken little and ht zexian you can get a total of minus four strength and plus four PSM defense buffs, okay, uh, without extra attack on either of them. And just that alone is really good. Now, in certain situations, uh, instead of HD Zexion, you might want to go with HPO if you happen to have it. And that would be primarily because of the fact that HPO does provide the general defense buff that HD Zexion does not. But Vexen Plus, with Vexen Plus being in the game right now, Vexen Plus kind of does a little bit of all three of those metals, if not a little bit better in certain cases too. Normally when it comes to my metal analysis videos, I typically like to compare the metal to all the rest of the metals in the game in different categories and whatnot on my spreadsheets at, on my website, okay? But due to the fact that there's not very many decent uh, turtle metals in the game right now anyways, uh, there's not really a point to comparing Vex and Plus to all the medals in the game whatnot and like their multiples and whatnot. Like Vex, Vex and Plus is for turtle setups pretty much specifically. Um, and it only makes sense to compare Vex and Plus to well other turtle medals. And because of the fact that Vex and Plus is a combination of pretty much all the standard turtle medals anyways and he's a tier 8 medal too with decent multipliers compared to the other uh, turtle medals. There's no, there's no point to showing uh, spreadsheet comparisons this time in this uh, analysis video. So what I will do instead is kind of compare side by side Vexen Plus compared to the other parts that he's kind of like a combination of. Okay, so first of all, let's compare Vexen Plus to Chicken Little. In case you don't remember, Chicken Little lowers the target strength by two tiers for, for one turn, raises the enemy's counter by one, moderately recovers HP, and restores four gauges. Now, uh, his max multiplier his total max multiplier is a 4.53 and if we take a look at vexen plus again uh he has a total max multiplier on the low end of a 9.5 and that's just a significant jump like uh truth be told 
HD Zexion and Chicken Little have the highest multipliers in terms of turtle medals. And if we were to take a look at HD Zexion real quick too, we would see that he has a total max multiplier of 9.81 to an 11.88. Okay, so the, the multipliers between the two, at least on the low end, are are pretty similar, HD Zexion being slightly better, but on the same time, uh, but at the same time, at the high end, uh, Vexen Plus is a little bit stronger than HD Zexion as well. Now, it's not too significant of a difference, but I mean, like, it, it, is, a, it is a difference worth noting. All right, so back to what I was talking about for uh, Chicken Little. So both Vexen Plus and Chicken Little debuff the opponent's strength by two tiers. However, Vexen Plus is actually a little bit better in terms of turtle strats for, than Chicken Little solely because of the fact that Vexen Plus's ability actually lasts for two turns. So realistically, because of the fact that the whole point of a turtle setup is to last as long as possible while whittling away the opponent's uh, HP until they eventually die, even if it takes a thousand turns, which is ridiculous, but I mean, like, that's the whole point of this, of the strategy. Vexen Plus end up just being better because he ends up getting a constant minus four strength debuff realistically instead of Chicken Little's minus two strength debuff, okay? Now, uh, I know that Chicken Little does provide a counter as well as restores some gauges. He restores four gauges, but in terms of a, a general turtle setup, that's not always necessarily required. Now, against events such as like the Vexen Plus uh, boss fight, for example, uh, yeah, that will make a difference. Uh, but in general, for like typical turtle strategies, it's 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 more of a bonus but not required type of thing. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at HPO. So this is HPO for those of you that don't know. HPO is a tier three metal. Uses four gauges and single target. So he raises your general defense by one tier for two turns. And he raises your PSM defense by one tier for two turns as well. And moderately recovers HP. So basically, he provides all your defense by one for two turns. Okay. So basically, you get a net total of plus two general defense buff. And a plus two uh, PSM defense buff. Okay. Which is pretty good. If we take a look at Vexen Plus, he provides a general defense buff of one tier, uh, a speed and magic defense by three tiers, okay? So, realis so realistically, we're getting a total of plus two general defense buff and a plus six speed and magic defense buff, okay? Uh, that's significant, but remember too, like I mentioned earlier in the video, general defense buff is by far the better debuff in general, if you were to do a one by one comparison. Uh, but because of the fact that Vexen Plus does provide a significant attribute buff, that can almost be just as potent as like one or two, maybe three uh, general defense buffs as well. So please keep that in mind that the large amount of attribute defense buffs that Vexen Plus provides uh, is still really good and just as useful compared to get, trying to get the uh, one or two general defense buffs that like HPO or Vexen Plus provides and whatnot, or or some other random metal. So in this regards, uh, Vexen Plus is actually just as good as HPO, it, uh, and obviously better because it provides some of the other aspects of the other metals. Um, the only thing that he's not good at is the fact that he doesn't provide any attribute buffs whatsoever for power. That is Vexen Plus's main weakness, and honestly, I will not be surprised if uh and some of like the future in the next month or two's like organization 13 fights we end up fighting some power enemies so it's like oh well i can't use vexen plus because he doesn't have any power defense buffs for us so it, it's just one of those things now i know i was just kind of memeing that you can't use vexen plus against power but that's not true you can still use vexen plus against power it's just not going to be nearly as good and the reason why i say you can still use vexen plus against power is because of the fact that he still provides a general defense buff for you uh as well as has that strength debuff as well okay so those two factors alone still make vexen plus very usable um he's just not going to be as turtly for you as you would like because he lacks that power defense so just keep that in mind for future reference all right so now the last metal that we want to compare vexen plus to is going to be hd zexion we already looked at their multipliers earlier already uh but let me just give a review of what hd zexion does for two turns he raises your psm strength by four tiers PSM defense by two tiers, 
Lowers target strength by one tier, defense by one tier, and inflicts more damage to more gauges are full. Okay. So one of the main things about HD Zexion is that he provides a bunch of strength, PSM strength buffs. But because of the fact that we're going for a turtle strategy, those don't matter whatsoever. Um, and if you already have Kyrie Shion EX anyways, uh, th like that also just completely is thrown out the window. It doesn't matter because Kyrie Shion EX do the strength buffs for you just 20 times better. So the main thing that we are looking at in terms of turtle strategy is going to be at basically well the rest of HD Zexion's abilities, which is going to be the PSM defense by two tiers and the lowers target strength by one tier. The general defense debuff by one tier is just a kind of bonus. Uh, it's nice to use as a third slot medal uh, after the uh, copy medal and Shion EX type combo, uh, especially since he'll do full damage. But yeah, we're looking mostly at the PSM defense buff as well as the strength debuff. Because of the fact that Aishi Zexion does last week two turns, we basically get a total of a plus four PSM defense buff as well as a minus two general strength debuff on the enemy. Vexen Plus is debuffing strength by four, whereas he's also buffing the magic and speed defense by six overall total uh, which is already vastly better than HD Zexion. So overall Vexen Plus is going to become like the new staple in my opinion. I honestly don't doubt it at all whatsoever that Vexen Plus is going to become required for some future events. So if you are a free to play player, a new player, or you just lack good turtle metal uh, setups whatsoever, I highly, highly recommend you get this vettel now while you still can otherwise uh you may end up regretting it later later on because realistically we might not see this medal for the next year after this event okay i honestly don't doubt it whatsoever <laughs> but other than that that's it for today guys if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell button next to that subscribe button it's the best way to know when i upload a new video such as this one but other than that my name is brian from kinemartini cross nation and i will see you guys in the next video Peace.